Hey guys, Connor Powers, DeadRedHitting.com. Now, I know a lot of you guys, especially you older guys, are going to have showcases and combines coming up in the next month, six weeks. And one of the fastest ways to get crossed off one of those college, college lists or pro scouts is by running a 460 time. So your skill set could be above average with the bat, you could be a great defender, but if you don't run a good 60, a lot of those coaches and scouts will cross you right off. So what I've done today for you guys, brought on speed training expert, expert, the best speed trainer that I know, Jack Cassio from Twice the Speed, and he's going to show you one hack for your 60 that's going to really help you decrease your time. So I'll let Jack take it from here. Yeah, definitely. So first and foremost, you, you hit it on the head. 60 yard dash is typically, I don't know about every every single showcase, yeah. but I know in the major league showcase, the first thing you do yep. is you run the 60. Yep. And it's like, if you're not running a quick 60 right, right out of the gate, they're not going to watch you hit. They're not going to watch you throw unless you're throwing 99 to 100. You know, like yeah, unless you're yeah. freaking something else, you're dropping bombs. Fine, but a lot of guys, you start with a 60, so it's only going to make you better. Then you start dropping bombs, and then you're gonna be like, oh my god, this kid's a freak athlete. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys a hack that you guys can add in, like literally instantly, and probably shave a tenth to two tenths off your 60 time. Now all you're going to do, I'm not sure that all you guys know exactly how to stand. So. If you're gonna hit and, you're, and your feet are just square, so say you have a, a stance and you're hitting feet square, right? You're here, you're, you're swinging, you're hitting. Now, imagine that, but we're gonna drop this foot a little bit. We're gonna basically split this foot in half right here, okay? So imagine stealing a base. So instead of being square like this, I'm gonna drop this foot back and I'm gonna open that foot up. So it would, if you're on first base, it'll be pointing to the shortstop third baseman, maybe like the 5.5 hole right in between them, right there. So you're here, you're nice and loose, right? A lot of guys are coming here with their foot and their first movement is this. And believe it or not, that is a 10th. A 10th is so quick. So if you're coming here to here, 10, boom. You're, you're already running, instead of running a 6.9, you're running a seven flat, just because your feet are in the right place. So this little hack will shave off that one tenth. And, and that can be the difference of getting crossed up the list. If you're running a 7.05, or a 695, you're two different players to all the scouts and coaches there. If you're not if you're not breaking seven, then you're probably getting crossed up the list. It really depends on your position. If you're a catcher or first baseman or a big guy, a little bit different. But for those guys who are up the middle, you guys need to run quick. And guys in the big leagues, like I'm trying to think of a good example, like a third baseman who's quick, like David Wright, he runs like a six seven. And he's like 33 years old, he's running a six seven, and he's a third baseman. So just keep that in mind. These are the guys you gotta to aspire to beat. So we're here, we're dropping this foot back, we're opening it up. Now that first movement off that foot is just straight and a twist, right? So it's here, so no, we're not doing that, we're already like that. So it's here, twist that foot, explode. Now we're gonna take that a step further, and what I want you to do is either get a tape measure out or just get a piece of chalk or maybe like a t-shirt or a water bottle and just mark how far your first step can be off that explosion. So it's here, we're opened up, Boom. Almost like you're testing a broad jump. You're gonna, you're gonna explode out and then we'd mark it. So Connor, actually you mark my foot okay. on this next one. Yep. So I'm here. I'll start from this stick. Opened up. Boom. So now, if I look at my height compared to that step, is it a little bit longer than me? Yeah, yeah. I sold you short. I put it about a middle of your foot, but this is probably where the end of your foot was. Okay, cool. If you're not striding, at least your height. Now, I exaggerated that stride. So if I'm going to do a regular stride, it's a little bit more than my height. If you look at a guy like Hussein Bull or a track guy, they're like 40, 50% stride length to height, over. So now if I were to really exaggerate, I'm going to try and beat that. I'm here. Now I'm exploding out, moving a little further. Do it a few times. Go through this like six or seven times, pushing yourself in your warm up. Here. Uh, it's hard. Yep. You're gonna get really tired doing it. So work on that explosion, and then when you get back to your normal 60, then just do it how you would do it normally, and you're gonna want to drive out. So you're gonna shave off an additional town. So I can take you from a 705 to a 685, two totally different players. Yeah, absolutely. And this is just this stuff right here that, that Jack's going over is just absolute gold for you guys. So look, we're gonna have more stuff for you. Go to deadredhitting.com slash 60 and we've got more stuff on the 60 for you if you haven't yet make sure you click subscribe to this channel and send send me all notifications again send me all notifications and for more stuff on the 60 go to deadredhitting.com slash 60 the url is right on the screen right now